Prince Harry has finally decided to shut up. But what has he been shut up about? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Now, as you know, Harry and Meghan very much like to get legal with anybody who they feel has well wronged them. We've seen it many times, in fact, with her own father and the Mail on Sunday, various tabloids and magazines too. And let's not forget, of course, that Harry and Meghan were very powerful at that moment when they were able to contact the head of the independent television network here in the UK and basically demand that their main presenter on The Breakfast Show apologise. He didn't, so he was gone. Very powerful. But fast forward, of course, the latest row came really at the naming of their brand new baby daughter, Lily Diana, or Lily Bet, as it was then known. Now, here's where it gets interesting for me. Harry once again then pressed the nuclear button, this time attacking the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Now he claimed that the source that reviewed and told this particular story was untrue and he sort of leaned on the side of he may get legal. Well what we can tell you first here on the show is that that's now all been smoothed out. Again, it wasn't necessarily through Harry and Meghan though. This was all to do with the fact that Her Majesty the Queen intervened. And if you remember, she basically said that she would be writing any wrongs. Now, this particular situation may end up in an apology from both sides, but rest assured it will not be going legal with the BBC. And for now, it looks like Harry and Meghan have had their, well, wings clipped. New Short in the heart of London.